Kami kamu aku akahi. Oh, oh kamu aku alua. Kamu ayah ayah kea. A ama aku alama lana. He umi ora bahai. U ina kapolo kamalo dalo ki he kia eloa. Aloha kako mahalo for accepting us into this uh, International Conference on Language Documentation and Conservation. My name is Akea Makamai Kiuna. I'm co-presenting today with Malu Dudwa. And the title of our presentation is Olalo Hawaii He Kukulu He Kahua. So before we get started, just a little bit of background information on myself. Uh, I have my Bachelor's of Arts degrees in Hawaiian Studies and Linguistics from UH Hilo and then subsequently went on to UH Manoa to get my linguistics uh, master's. And I am currently an instructor at Hawaii Community College within the Iola Haloa Center for Hawaii Lifestyles. And I'm hired as an instructor on our Title III grants. I formerly worked on the Mokaulele Cooperative Grant. I am now on the Ulukini Grant. And in terms of my hula lineage and background, I am a recent Uniki graduate of Unole Hua Two under Unu Kupu Kupu. Oya, aloha no ya kako pa kahi apau, uh, ovono o Malu Durua. My name is Malu. Um, I first moved to Hilo, Hawaii in 2011 from Maui um, and graduated from UH Hilo, um, our Hawaiian language college, Kahakulo Ke'elipolani in 2016 with my Bachelor's of Hawaiian Studies continuing the culture, as well as my AAS in Hawaii Lifestyles, Hula Track. Um, at Hawaii Community College. <clears throat> as soon as I graduated in 2016, I began my professional work as a community engagement facilitator through Mokau Lele, Office of the Chancellor, um, as well as began working um, in 2018 as a part-time lecturer for Kahakula Ke'elikolani College of Hawaiian Language, teaching the courses um, Hawaiian Studies 211, Papa Meakanu, Hawaiian Ethnobotany, as well as Hawaiian Studies 191, currently known as Hawaiian Studies 181, Indigenous Leadership through Hula. Um, with Akea, I also uniki, uh, uniki Kumu Hula in winter of 2019. Um, and just recently in October of 2020, I became the Cultural Engagement Specialist for Hawaii Papua Keau, um, specifically our UH Hilo campus. Oh yeah, aloha no kako. Next slide, please. So as we begin our presentation and we begin to look at our course, Hawaiian Studies 181, Indigenous Leadership through Hula, we ask the question and we look at what is Hula? Yeah. By definition through our Puke Vehevehe or our Hawaiian Dictionary by uh, Tutu Merikavana Pukui, Hula um, is the Hula, it's the Hula dancer or it's to dance the Hula. Um, and it is usually accompanied by song or chant. Um, and we usually have someone who sings a song or chants the chant for the hula dancer. Um, through the practice of hula, we also understand and begin to acknowledge that hula is more than just the dance itself. It's the movement of our natural environment. It's a reflective process of all living things that surrounds us. It's the physical embodiment the dancer um, inherits um, that begins to show the innate relationship that we share with that natural environment. Um, and we also recognize it as the olelo, or the language of our aina, that, that the land that surrounds us, the natural environment that surrounds us. Next slide, please. Oh yeah, now we begin to look at our course, Hawaiian Studies 181, Indigenous Leadership through Hula. This course was first developed in 2017 um, by Topori Tangaro and Auntie Gail Makuakane London. Um, who are pretty much heading the Hawaii Papua Keau initiative to indigenize a UH system. Um, being in direct alignment under Hawaii Papua Keau, we look at our course as a cultural academic platform for our students to begin exploring and understanding what hula is to them. Um, it is an inclusive process for all students. So we accept students from anywhere, any field of study, whether you're Hawaiian studies, marine science, psychology, sociology, kinesiology, um, as well as any region of the world, whether you're from Japan, Europe, uh, Spain, Mexico. We've had all kinds of students attend our course with all different kinds of indigenous backgrounds and academic studies. Um, and being that we have or include many different um, backgrounds in this one course into the discussions of this course, we begin to see that 
everything that is contributed to the discussion is importable to all aspects of life and living, whether you are a Hawaiian studies major, whether you are a student from Hawaii or from Japan. Yeah, you're able to take what we discussed through this course and apply it to your own, um, your own background and your own life. The curriculum of the course um, just a brief breakdown of how we, we teach things through the course, how we teach our hula and our chants. Um, being that we have students of, of all different levels of understanding in Olelo Hawaii and Hawaiian culture, um, everyone goes through the same process. And we look at this in the, as a deconstruction. Yeah? So for example, um, let's look at the word aloha. Yeah? If we're to teach a new chant and the, the focus is aloha, we would ask the student to break down that word and we would find two words, alo and ha. And the next step is defining those, those, no, those broken down words. So alo meaning the face or the presence and ha, the breath. And now we ask them to reconstruct that word and redefine it to find a, a, another meaning, a deeper meaning rather than what is the literal translation on the paper from the, for the chant or for that, that song. Okay. Um, and, and looking at the new definition, we, we begin to discuss how is it applicable to our personal lives, to our academic lives? How is it applicable to indigenous leadership? How is it applicable, applicable to our health and well-being within our communities and our functions within our communities? And there we begin to see students really truly understanding the underlying meaning behind the chant context um, and what the literal translations do not say. Yeah. And through understanding that, they're furthermore able to understand why is my body moving this way in the hula? Why am I turning this way? Why is my hand positioned in that way? Yeah. Um, and all of these different light bulbs are going off, and that's what we want to see. So through that interaction, through that deconstruction and reconstruction process and finding new definitions, it is a firm affirmation that Olelo Hawaii, for our first indigenous leadership through hula, is a kukulu. Te kukulu is a kahua, te kahua, yeah. Hula is the platform in which students are able to, to explore and begin to, to look at what this might mean for them. But through Olelo Hawaii being the pillar and foundation for that platform, are they able to understand that and apply that to their own lives? Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so here, I just want to share or we want to share a few of our teaching experiences. Um, and I wanted to point one out that says, this course is different from most in that it not only has students learn the language or Olelo Hawaii, but also build a relationship with it. Um, without building a relationship with Olelo, with what you're chanting or with what you're dancing to, you don't, we, we don't understand it. We don't know it. Yeah, and by doing so, by really diving deep into the chant, into the hula, we begin to see that or rebuild and reconnect to that innate relationship again that we share with our natural environment that surrounds us. Uh, next slide, please. And here we have some of the student reflections. Um, I wanted to point out one of them. Um, it's from a student who is not uh, from Hawaii, um, but from a, another indigenous um, background and culture. But she says, um, its relation, meaning Olelo Hawaii or Hawaiian language, its relation to hula as a vehicle to transmit traditional culture uh, found in the course content, learning objectives, and outcomes extremely interesting and valuable for any cultural practitioner, whether they are of Hawaiian or any other human origin. So again, um, through these student reflections, we see that the process of understanding the chant and the hula, um, that these students are able to take it back with them, no matter their, their indigenous background, no matter where, what part of the world they're from, um, it's importable. It's a process that is applicable to anything and almost any aspect, any culture in life. Oh, yeah. Uh, and with that, I'm going to allow Akel to explain a little bit more of how this process works um, and, and see the phonetics behind all of it. Mahalo. So as Malo was explaining, um, the students have this expectation, which is articulated to them before the class begins that they are going to be interacting in as well as with the Hawaiian language. The, these sets, these hula uh, sets and chants that are presented within these courses, they're relatively simple in terms of their sentence structure and vocabulary. They're actually 
mele, their songs and chants that are meant for children, yeah, to teach children not only language and pronunciation, but also cultural perspective and lessons that they can use throughout their lives. So st structurally, the mele are relatively simple. And within these sets, the students are actually expected to chant as they dance. So in that sense, even though these courses are not a traditional grammar type course, they, we implement the language uh, as a means to understand the course content. So this concept of ho'opili a pili, yeah, to mimic something until it sticks, until it's relevant, um, by the students having to go in and look at the definitions of each word yeah, to then break up the word. So we're not just taking the definition of, or the general understanding of the definition, as Malu said, with aloha. We tend to know and associate aloha with love, hello, goodbye, and all of those definitions are relevant, but by the students having to go in and then break apart the word into alo and ha, and look at those separate elements and then reconstruct it and then gain a more personal relationship and understanding to the word, with the word itself, as well as within its context within the chant, and then the original intention and meaning of the chant. That is how these students gain um, a foundation in the language, not just by grammar, not just by pronunciation, but also by then applying a cultural perspective and relationship to these words. And then from that, yeah, but once we establish their relationship uh, with the mele, we then pose questions and have discussions and analysis about how can they apply the meanings of these words, the meanings and intentions of these chants and dances back into their own personal journeys, their journeys uh, outside of school, in school, as well as when they're back with their communities, whatever their communities are, where they reside, where they're from, their families, their friends. There's always some sort of relevancy that we try to build with the students, their connections to the, not just the hula, but also with what they've researched and found about each uh, mele. And that feeds into this next uh, topic and idea of ho'omau a mau, to perpetuate, you know, ho'omau to continue to perpetuate something until it's sustained. Yeah, so these students in this in this semester long course are not only learning how to pronounce Hawaiian words, they're not only learning how to dance hula, um, they're learning how can they apply all of this to themselves and they don't have to be Hawaiian. Yeah, we, we saw from some of the student uh, reflections, a lot of the students that take these courses are not of Hawaiian ancestry. They're not even from Hawaii. However, they're able to, through this process, create a relationship with Hawaiian language and culture and Hawaiian perspective, so much so that they are now able to articulate for themselves how they can apply it to every aspect of their personal and professional lives. And for some students, we, and faculty and staff as well, who interact and engage in this process, we're able to continue on this saying of ho'omau amau by going on and engaging in pa mamau, yeah, indigenous exchanges with uh, other communities across the United States as well as across the world. So groups of students, faculty, staff, administrators of Hawaii Community College as well as the University of Hawaii at Hilo have traveled to indigenous communities in Minnesota, Montana, North Carolina, Oklahoma, even Palau. And we apply this same process of engaging with mele and those uh, particular lyrics within the mele, gaining a personal understanding to then be able to articulate it out to other people in other indigenous people, because we all have some sort of indigeneity within us. And by forming these personal relationships with the words, with the simple syntax of these mele, we're then able to connect on a deeper level to these indigenous communities around the world. And the indigenous speaks to the indigenous. So these simple introductory hula courses 
you get a simple introduction into the foundations of grammar, Hawaiian language grammar, uh, syntax, pronunciation, but you also get a introduction into the perspective and from that comes the articulation. And that is how these courses and by looking at mele, yeah, our songs, our chants, um, how we're able to then articulate that to academic success and then personal well-being and personal success and moving forward. So with that, we want to just say mahalo nui for allowing us to present on this topic and we look forward to any and all questions that you may have.